So if we go to the question, it says mechanical drawing. The given figure shows the front view and the right view of the bracket, as well as a cutting plan AA and BB. Draw to a scale of 1 to 1 the following views on the bracket. Now 1 to 1 means all the measurements stay the same. Okay. A sectional right view on the cutting plane AA. The front view shown show all hidden detail. A sectional top view on cutting plane BB and show all necessary construction and sense lines. Now, cutting plane AA and cutting plane BB. If you go and look at your drawing over here, okay, you can see there is a center line and there's a center line. That one's labeled AA and that one's labeled BB. Okay. So what that means is you're cutting this off in the direction of the arrow. So you look at that, the arrow is showing that way, which means that we're cutting this piece off and showing this piece. If it's BB, look at the arrow, that means we're cutting the top piece off. And we'll see this. Understand what I'm trying to explain? Yes, yeah. Okay. So what the arrow does, it means that that is the direction in which we are viewing the object. Okay. So that means everything behind the arrow gets cut off. So everything above the arrow gets cut off. Okay. All with me. Okay. Now, we're going to start drawing this drawing by using point S. Okay. Are you with me? Point S. And where is point S on this drawing? It's over there. So that means we're going to start by drawing this. Okay. We're drawing all three views. Okay. So now we have a hexagon. One side is 22. So we go measure 22 with the compass. And we're drawing a circle on that point. Remember to do it in construction. What are constructions? Light, thin lines. Okay. Now, it is preferred that you go and put in your center lines. Yeah? So we've already got center lines over here. So all we do is extend. Okay, we can extend to the top as well, not by too far, and to the sides as well. Okay. Okay, you with me so far? Now, we want to go and draw in the hexagon. Okay. Now there's two ways of doing this. The first way is you go take 22 with the compass and then go mark off each point on the circle like that and then go connect the points. Another way of doing this is you take your 3060 set square, okay? And you can just go and what it should look like. Are you with me? Huh? Yes, sir. 
Okay. Now we've gotten our hexagon. Okay. So now we look at this drawing. And we have a whole other drawing to go and all the rest of the drawing to go and draw now. So we can, you can see in the middle of this joy of this hexagon we have a square. Correct? Okay. We now have the square, so we go and measure. Okay, the square is 14, so each side is 14. Right? With me? Okay. So if it's 14, one side, so that means half of that would be 7. seven. So that is 7 to the left of the middle point and 7 to the right of the middle point. Okay? Now, we go here again, top and bottom, 7, 7 to the top, 7 to the bottom. Now we've measured those in, we're going to go and draw in our square. we have our square. Are you with me? So the square is 14 on each side, okay? So you measure from the middle point here, on that center line upwards, 7 and down 7. The 7 and 7 gives me 14, okay? And then to each side as well. To the left, 7, to the right, 7, and then all those draw charts you just draw lines. Okay. So that's what we have so far, right? Now we want to go and draw this base first, okay? Because we can't get these lines on the sides without having the base, okay? So we have a length of 58 from the middle point down to the top of the base and then 14 down for the bottom of the base, okay? So let's go and measure 58 down and then 14 below that. Now we can go draw in construction lines to indicate the base. Okay. Now if we look, the entire base's length is 72. Okay, so then we go and say 72 divided by 2 gives me 36. 36 on each side from the middle point, so from the center line here, 36 to the left and 36 to the right. Once that is in, you can go and draw in your base. Remember to do it in construction. 
until you're completely sure about your drawing, then you can go make it dark, okay? Look at the bottom of your base, it's 72, divide that by 2, gives you 36 to the left of the center line and 36 to the right. Okay, so now we have our base. So now I can go and put in my slanted lines on the side. Okay. So we see that the slanted line goes from that point to that point. Okay. I can quickly go and... Push that in. The other side. Okay. So now we have more or less the most of our drawing. Okay. Now, they said that they wanted a sectional right view on cutting plane AA. Right? What view is this that I'm drawing now? My right view. Okay, it's my right view. So that is the one we're going to section. Correct? All with me? Okay. Now, I'm going to section this drawing, but not quite yet. Okay, we can't section the right view without drawing the front view. Why? Because the indication of the sections is on that right view. So we need to go and draw that one first. Okay? So now what do we do for all of the graphic drawings? Top, front, side. Correct? Mm -hmm. So how do we do that? We'll go put in this. Let me show you. Ten to that side. Into that side, and we can go put in see that. That's skew, it's just the drawing that's skew. The board is skew, so it looks skew on the video. Okay, you with me? Huh? So what's happening here now? Okay, you with me? Now, I just do this, you know that you guys do it with the circle in the middle here. I personally don't do that, I just measure. So I measured from that point to that point. So from there to there, I measured 10 millimeters. So then 10 millimeters from that line to the side, and from there to that top. I'll make it 10. It's always, I make it 10 unless they specify something else. Okay, and then I go and draw in. A line all the way to the top there, and a line to the side here. That way we know where everything is supposed to drop. Okay. Now, what always comes in this middle to the side here? Thirty-five degree line. Okay. Why over here? Because of the third angle of the graphic. Okay, third angle of the graphic projection means that my right view is at the bottom, my front view is at the bottom, and my top view is at the top. Okay, so I'm going to go and draw a 45 degree line in. There we go. Okay, now.
we can start drawing our sun team. Okay, so what do we do? We just take all these lines across. All we have to do for now. All these lines. Take them across. Okay. Now we can start measuring in our lines. So, as you can see over there, my base is 150 millimeters. Okay? So we start from that point, 115 to the left. Okay? Left. We can draw in the base. Now remember it says here the front view show all hidden detail. So that means that the front view you draw as is. Okay. Still all with me? my base. Okay. Now we can see <coughs> right over here. There's a 12 millimeter thickness line over there. Okay. And it shows us that it's 20 millimeters away from this base to the right. Okay. So we can go and measure 20 from that point to the right. 20 over there, and the thickness is then 12. Okay, now where do we draw that to? That is our um, question now. Where do we draw that to? What line? We see that this line over here, if we look at it like this, this thickness over here, okay, is that line going to there. Okay, understand? So that line, because we're looking at this from the side of the drawing now, so from the front of the drawing, from there to there is there to there. So it stops on that line. So we take that line across, so this line, we take it across, and we can join those that thickness up to that line. Okay, do you see that? All with me? Okay. Now we can go and draw in the um, that rectangle at the top there. You see that? That is my hexagon seen from the side of the hexagon. Okay. So I'm going to go and draw that in quickly. We need to go and measure it. It is 22 millimeters in thickness. Okay. The 22. So we take this 12, first of all, we take this 12 and divide that by 2, which gives us 6. Okay? Just to get the middle point. Okay. Then it's 22. Okay. So, 11 to that side, 11 to this side. And we can go draw in. in that hexagon. Okay, obviously we need to go and draw this in. Dark.
Okay, you see that now? That's what we have so far. Okay. Now that we, we see that, we have a line over here. You see this thickness, this 12 thickness over here. That goes from the base to the bottom of the hexagon. Okay. That means from the base to the bottom of the hexagon. So that is the front of this base over here to the bottom of that hexagon over there. Are you with me? Okay. Okay, you with me? Now we have drawn the entire given front view. Okay. But it also said here, show all hidden detail. So we have to go and show the hidden detail now. Okay. They give you the hidden detail in this drawing, so you just have to go and copy it onto this one that you're drawing now. Okay. So if you see here, we have a 14 um, diameter, okay, which just stays 14 millimeters. Okay, but we want the middle point of that. To find the middle point, you look at the 17 above it. From the base, the point of the base to the left gives me the middle point of the diameter. Okay, so you go and measure 17. And what do we do with all circles? Put in a center line. Okay, so now I've got my center line in there. You with me? Now I know that my hole is 14, right? Over there, 14. Okay, so 14 divided by 2 is? 7. seven. So that's 7 to each side of the center line we just drew. And we can go draw in hidden detail lines to indicate that there's a hole there. You with me? See, it's hidden detail lines. A little dash line. Okay. Now we have one more thing that we have to indicate from the hidden detail. Okay. That is the square. You see that square? That square goes straight through the entire drawing. Okay. Luckily, we've drawn this, so we can just take those across and go put in hidden detail lines over there. So, okay, now you see I've got my hidden detail lines up there as well. Okay, so this drawing is not finished yet because we have to go and put in the AA and BB cutting planes. Okay, so how do we do that? They give us measurements for this. Okay, so if we look at this, the AA is drawn in 26 millimeters from this line. So 26 to the right, and we have our AA cutting plane. Okay, so let's go measure there. Twenty-six. And we can go draw in the a, a cutting plane. Remember, a, a cutting plane is a center line. Okay, and then each point just make the line a little bit thicker, like that. Okay with an arrow and label it a A okay are you with me? No. now we need to go and draw in the BB cutting plane that is 23 millimeters up from the base okay so we go and measure 23 With an arrow, 
Left hand side. Label it B. B. With it. Okay. Now that we have gotten the A A cutting plane, we know that this line going up to the hexagon over here. Okay. Take a look. That line over there. Okay. Is the line that's supposed to come up to that hexagon. Okay. All you do is where the AA line crosses this, this slanted line. Okay. You draw a line across. That's all. Draw a line across to there. Okay. With me? Then we can go and draw this line in here. We see that it is 12. So that's 6 on a side, 6 to the left. 6 to the right, and we can go draw that line in. Over there. But, because it cuts through there, that line also becomes dark. You see that? See, it's not on this drawing that it's dark, but it's on this one, because now we have to show the cut. Okay, which means that this whole piece here on this drawing, that whole front piece is cut off and we're looking at it while it's being cut. Understand? You can get an image of what it should look like. Okay, so that means that's now what we have left. We've cut that off. We're not going to see the holes or anything. We've cut that off. This is what we're going to see. Okay, now what do we do with everything we've cut? We go put in hatching. What is hatching? It is a 45 degree lines going through the cut area. Okay. okay. Any of you have to think? Okay, before I tip out something, who of you can tell me what's wrong with this drawing? Uh, something <laughs> the line on the hatch, on the This one. Okay, that line, you see that horizontal line? That's not supposed to be there. You can tell me why. Yes, Nicholas. Because it's, because it's not two separate pieces. It's one whole piece. Okay, if it was two separate pieces, then we would have that line there. This hatching would go in this direction, and that hatching would go in that direction. Okay, so we take it out. And that's what it should look like. With me. Okay. Now, we've done the front view and we've done the sectional right view. Okay. So, what you've got to do now is just go to these instructions at the top and go tick them off that you've done them. Okay. That means we've only got a sectional top view to do. There. That's all we have to do now. Okay. So my top view goes where? Here, right? So all we do now is take all the lines that we've drawn here up. So we can do that so long. All these lines. Up. Okay, that's all I'm going to take so long. Okay, so now we've taken all of those up. 
with me? Okay. Now we take these lines up to the 45 degree line. Okay. So all of these, we take them up to the 45 degree line. Okay. Once they've been taken to the 45 degree line up here, where do we take the pin? To the left. Okay. So we can go and do that. Now you'll see I've got all of these lines over here. Confusing, yeah? Okay. So what you're going to do then is work piece by piece, line by line. Okay. I would say draw in the base first. Okay. Since the base is a rectangle. Okay. So we go and we see that we want to line these two pieces up. So this one and this one. Okay. We go up to the 45 and to the side and we see that they meet up over here. Okay, also, do it again, from here to there, you see they meet up over here. Okay, again, we see it goes to there, we take the outside one now, we take it up, and this one up, and we see it goes there, over here, and over here, we see they meet up over there. Okay, if I draw that in for you. Are you with me? See that? That's the base as seen from the top. Okay. Now, what have I not taken up? What have I not taken up to this drawing? This hidden detail circle. See it? I haven't taken that up. So, I'm going to take that up as well. Well as the center line, so that we can get the center. Okay. Now we want to draw two circles in on this face. Okay. Why? Because if you look at this, there's a circle on the left hand side and a circle on the right hand side. Over here. Hidden details. Okay. So we want to go and draw that on. Okay. What I would say is um we see that it's got a 72 base. That's over here, 72. Okay. So we can go around, measure in from the center. Now we don't know where the center is because we haven't taken that up. Okay. If you want to go and find the center, I would just take the center up and across to find the center. And then from the center, the centers of the two circles is 20 to the bottom and 20 to the top. So over here, 
from that center, twenty to the bottom, twenty to the top. Okay. Now I know that this center line needs to meet with that one I just drew, so it meets there and it meets there. Okay. Now we need to go and draw in circles. Correct? With me. We need to go and draw in our circle. Okay. How do I do that? My compass, we've got a circle stencil. I don't prefer the circle stencil because it's really inaccurate, but use the circle stencil if you want to. Um, I have my circle stencil. Okay, circle stencil. I'm just going to use this now because it's faster for the moment. Circle stencil. Now we know that this circle needs to be 14. Okay, it's got a diameter of 14. So, over here. Okay, you see now I've got my two circles there. Okay, please use your compass. It's, it's more accurate. You can already see with this 14, it's about a millimeter out. So you should use the 15 instead. Of. So circle stencils aren't always very accurate. Um, anyway, now we've got those two. Okay? But now we need this. Now we need that going up because we can see that on the top here, right? And these sides coming down as well because we can also see that on the top. Here. Okay, because my my hexagon is in the middle and I've got those things coming down and this one coming down today. Okay. What I would recommend is um, don't draw the hexagon in at the top because the reason for that is because of BB. We're cutting that hexagon completely off. Okay, so we're only seeing this place. So there's no point in drawing the hexagon at the top, you're just wasting time. Okay, what I would say is because you've already gotten these two lines, these two lines going up and these two, so this one and this one, coming across, you've already basically got your. Um, construction lines in there. Okay. What you want to do now is you want to go and draw these lines in dark, but obviously they're cut off at B and B. Okay. So B is on this line, so you don't even have to worry about it, but this one we still need to go and plot in. Okay. Are you with me? Are you with me? Okay. Now, first of all, we need to take this B over here up. Okay, we take that up. Now we know where that one's cut. Okay, so if I go and draw that in dark for you to see, obviously we'll use Okay, you see that rectangle there? That is this from the top. Okay? Now we need to go and draw in where over here and here this B line would cut. Okay, what do we do? 
All we do is take it across onto these two points and then take them up to the 45 degree line over there and over there okay and then you can take those across across to there and then the top one take across to there okay then we can go and draw those lines in now so we know that the back is a straight line. Okay, so this one over here is a straight line. There. Yeah. Okay, but this one needs to stop where? On my cut. So it joins up with the line that this should be um, joining up with. So, and if I put the rest of that line in, You see that? Now it's made kind of like a T. Okay. Now, obviously, remember we took the B across to there, took it up and took it across. Right? That's how we're going to indicate our cutting plane. Okay. So it comes across over here and over there. Okay. Now, before I finish, what comes with every circle? Sensor lines. Okay, so these circles need sensor lines. Okay, now this drawing needs one more thing. Two more things. Let's say two more things. Okay, needs. Zivana? Hatching, okay? What angle is hatching at? 45 degrees. So you just use this 45 set square. See, it's only inside that small T. Okay, what else does this drawing need? If I do it on this drawing. Sensor lines, yeah? This one needs it as well. Going through the middle of the drawing. Like that. Okay. Are you all with me? Drawing's done. Okay. 100% done. Let's say 99% done. Because most of you wouldn't go and write down your name and go. Okay, so actually go and do that. All with me? Understand how to do these drawings now? Understand how the cutting planes work? Okay. Any questions?